Good morning from Los Angeles, California. You know, each day we learn something new, and I learned from a flight attendant on this trip about simple ways to be mindful, to live in the moment. Um, so this morning I am being mindful, and I am so grateful for being given another day of life. One thing that he does is. When we do service on the airplane, if there's just a tiny little bit of water, he drinks the water to not be wasteful. So look at this gorgeous sunset with me. And I'm just grateful to be here, to be able to witness this. There's good things, there's beautiful, beautiful things all around us. We just need to be open to it. The microwave is here where the guest laundry is. And near the guest laundry, they have a vending machine full of laundry soap. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and I'm a flight attendant with a major US airline and today I'm in Los Angeles, California. Flew in last night, I got in late. It feels like I've been coming to Los Angeles a lot lately, but the thing is my layovers haven't been very long. So it's not enough time to really do anything aside from get some sleep, eat, shower, repeat, which is fine. I had five days off prior to this and it was nice to just be in one spot. Um, but I think that I am properly becoming accustomed to having like my internal body clock on the East Coast because I set my alarm for 9 a.m. to wake up this morning since I got in so late. But at 7 a.m. I was up and I could not fall back asleep. So what have I been doing? Just lounging, watching the Great British Baking Show and um, kind of let time get away from me a little bit. Then I realized what time it was and thought, oh, I still need to get ready, do my hair, do my makeup and eat lunch uh, because I did pack some chicken fajitas. My mom made chicken fajitas and it is boneless, skinless chicken breast and she sauteed them with like red bell pepper, green pe bell pepper, yellow bell pepper and onion. So very good. I warmed those up, set them on the counter and then I got ready, you know, cause that was like, not motivation, but it was like incentive for me to get ready quickly so that way I can eat, get all my things in order, and then be downstairs. But yes, that's how this morning is going. I also, I was only given 70 hours on my schedule this month and I like to fly at least 90. 90 hours is good. It gives me enough money to pay the bills and have a little bit of extra money. 100 hours is more ideal. So I'm trying to pick up like 20 to 30 hours this month. So I did bid on some international trips. I don't know if I'll get them, but it looked like they were open later on this month. We'll see, fingers crossed. Um, but that's it. After this trip, I'm off for two days and then I'm flying to Quito, Ecuador and somewhere else. But yeah, I'm going to Ecuador, but that's it. So that's it for now. I am going to eat now and then just get my stuff in order, get my uniform on, throw on my lips and head out the door. So here is my pretty healthy meal, chicken fajitas. I think one of the, my favorite things to watch them bake on the Great British Baking Show is bread. And that's what they're baking on this episode. I baked some saffron bread once. Um, and it was a recipe from the show. But yeah, it's one of my favorite things to watch in here is when they make the different breads. I love how they braid the breads and how they're like artistic pieces and then just savory or sweet or however they do them. Like this bread looks so incredible. And Paul Hollywood, heartthrob, I love his eyes. There's just something about Paul Hollywood. He can bake, he's handsome, he's charismatic and those eyes, they're like glass. Glass eyes? That sounds weird, doesn't it? Okay, it's time to fly to Phoenix. This first part is going to be not very long. It's probably about an hour flight. 
uh, but it's let's go let's head downstairs it is now 11 28 I have to be down there at 11 40 so I'm on the 15th floor I gotta make my way down come with me Okay, on the plane, pre-flight checks are done. Letting, going to be letting some deadheading crew on for now. And then we're gonna be boarding passengers and then be on our way to Phoenix. Okay guys, made it back to Miami. That's the end of my trip. It was just a short two day. The flight was uneventful. Um, I think flight time was a little shorter than usual. Maybe the tailwinds were in our favor. It was like three hours and 46 minutes from Phoenix to Miami. Um, there was a slim chance I thought I might make the last flight out of Miami to Orlando. I didn't make it though, he took off without me. So I'm going to sleep in the airport until I can get the first flight tomorrow morning to Orlando. That's it. <laughs> That's all for me. I'll be sleeping in the airport for a little bit. And like repeating myself now. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And to see new videos, if you've not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Until